Hey guys, and welcome to Iced Coffee. I'm Lindsay. I'm Brett. And we are live at the Ironwood Snowmobile Olympus, uh, round two of the TLR Cup Tour today. Uh, yesterday's racing was canceled for all the right reasons. Uh, a lot of snow hanging around in the air made for really poor visibility out on the track. It's big snow country. Big snow country. <laughs> Proved it yesterday. Yeah. So, but racing is, is definitely underway here today. Uh, beautiful sunny day with lots of great stuff coming at you. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here at the Ironwood Snowmobile Olympus, the western end of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. A uh, great half mile track here in Ironwood with a ton of history. Been racing on it for 125 years. Horses mostly, uh, a little bit of time with some stock cars back in the 70s and 80s. Now it's uh, primarily horses in the summer and some great snowmobile racing here in the winter. Just had an awesome weekend last weekend with the Pro Vintage Racing Group racing on Saturday on the half mile track. This weekend we're fortunate enough to have, we, because I'm a hometown person, mm -hmm. are fortunate enough to have the USSA and the TLR Cup here today. Uh, Ironwood track is a, pretty much a flat track, but a big fast track. Talk to some of these drivers. We're going to have Matt Ritchie with us here in a few minutes. Uh, they seem to love the track. Saw practice speeds on Friday, uh, over 100 miles an hour for a lot of these guys. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of banking in the corners, just a big oval, and they're flying. Yeah, super fast out here. So we encourage you to come out and watch the races if you're in the area. It's just 10 bucks to get in today. There's Jeez. free parking. There's a nice heated barn if you get chilly out there. Otherwise, there's great grandstand seating. Uh, the Bloody Mary is pretty good here. Uh, they'll definitely take care of you with you their know? concessions. I may have had one before. Um, but kids under 12 are free. Bring them out. You know, smell the race fuel. Hear these champ sleds. They're crazy loud. It's just unlike any other experience being here live. Yep, bring, bring the kids out, bring some earplugs for them too though. Uh, beautiful grandstands here, it kind of shelters you from the wind, but when we get those champ guys on the line and they hit the gas, the sound kind of reverberates through that grandstand, so uh, mm -hmm. hearing protection is a big deal. Yep. But uh, we've got Matt Ritchie with us, we want to get him in here and talk to him for a few minutes, he's going to have a busy day today, so we're going to bring Matt in. Welcome. Hey, thank you guys for having me today. Hey, you How's bet. it going? Not too bad, just enjoying the morning so far. <laughs> So Matt drives the number 355 Ritchie Motorsports Polaris. Um, we're going to talk to him a little bit about racing in Ironwood and a little bit of how last weekend went, and we'll go from there. So tell us a little bit about the sled and the setup that's different in Ironwood today versus last week in Fargo. Um, actually, we changed quite a bit. We did a lot of testing this last week at our at our race shop back in Wassa. Um, but a lot of main main thing that we changed is uh, the handling. Um, we changed the camber a lot. Um, made it a little more aggressive for the flat track racing compared to the bank like we had in Fargo. Um, a lot of rear spring um, in, the, in the rear suspension to hopefully when we get back in the throttle and point us straight and maybe cut under some guys this weekend. Okay. I did uh, ask Nick the question last weekend about how he changed it, and then I followed up with this question I'm going to ask you to put that in words my wife would understand. Um, I guess it's, yeah, <laughs> we, we deal with it every day, so it's pretty easy for us to, right. to talk technical, but um, I guess, you know, the, the way the camera works is the way you're, the pitch that your ski sits. Um, we add more. Um, for a flat track to kind of help us turn more. Um, as the track gets banked, we uh, straighten it up a little bit just because the banking helps us turn. Um, when I was talking about the rear suspension, um, there's a spring in there that, you know, it's kind of like a pogo stick. The more it compresses, the more work it does. Um, so as we loosen up the, the spring, um, the less it compresses and the less the track movement has to move. And we tighten it up here on the flat tracks just to, um, so when we get back on the throttle, it doesn't compress and we can turn around the corner a lot better. Got it. That helps. Makes sense. So you guys have three heat races today and then your big feature. What time are your heat races at? Um, our heat races are at 10.15, 12.15, 2 and 3 and our final is 15 laps today. Yeah, big final at 3 o'clock today, 15 laps. Uh, these guys are on the TLR Cup Series when they qualify for the final. We come up with a really nice stage for them. We do some driver introductions right on the track. They'll push their sled out so the fans can see it up close. Uh, intros without helmets on so you get a good look at these guys. Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's not. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> um, but uh, So be sure you're here for the 3 o'clock final. It'll run 15 laps. We'll do a, a post-race ceremony with a podium on there. You can jump in your car, wheel at home, and make the Packer kick off at 3.40. No problem. Perfect. So, tell us a little bit about um, your history racing here. How many years you've been here? And um, Actually, it's kind of been a... It's kind of been a lifelong race here. I started when I was racing 380 sprints in the junior classes probably about seven years ago. Um, and then they didn't, we didn't come back for a couple of years, but they brought it back uh, when the Vintage was race, racing and we raced champ uh, when I was racing semi-pro. So I think this is my sixth time here. Um, the track has changed a lot over the six years. They made it shorter, and they kind of made it more safe with widening the corners, which is kind of nice for the rest of us, you know. Um, 
now 12 sleds can go into the corner no problem. So I think we're all pretty excited with that, um, and hopefully a lot comes out of this. I love the fact it says 12 sleds in the corner no problem. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't catch me on one of those. <laughs> but uh, We've so. been doing it for so long, we just get used to it. Part of it's a confidence in the guy you're lined up next to, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, I mean, we've all been doing this for so long, you know. Um, Nick Van Stradon, Bo, Cardell, Gunner, um, the list goes on. Jordan, you know, we've been racing with each other since I was four. So, I mean, we, right. we trust each other out there. Yeah. So today, we didn't have any racing yesterday. All you have is practice from Friday to look at. But we do this pick on, the, on Facebook Live here. We need to know who you think three of the top sleds are we got to watch out for. And unfortunately, 355 can't be in the mix. Oh, so I can't pick myself can't now. Can't pick huh? yourself. No, <laughs> um, no. Uh, I think the top three are going to be anybody that can win. I think Schultz is going to be strong. Uh, mm -hmm. He always has. He's won here in the past. He knows what it takes. Um, Cardell showed a lot of speed in uh, Fargo. You know, he mm -hmm. had some problems Friday night, but like everybody else, they overcame him, and they proved that on Saturday. Um, so I think Schultz, Cardell, and I don't think you can ever count out Nick Van Strijden. Wow. Interesting. So, mm -hmm. all right, you want to give your top three here? <clears throat> Lindsay and I have a little contest going. Yep. So far, uh, she's out uh, of the two podiums we've had, she's picked two of the people on the podium. Mm -hmm. I'm one for six, she's two for six, so we're kind of working Hoping this to a little extend bit. that lead today. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to pretty much stick with my selections from yesterday. Um, also, we can't pick Matt either. Right. So, right. Um, I am going to, I'm going to put Matt Gady up there. He won, or I'm sorry, he got second in both features last weekend. Super fast. I hear Gary Moyle is here helping him out on that number 28 Articat today. Um, pretty pretty great combo, if you ask me. Um, like Matt said, I'm going to put Matt Schultz up there. He is always fast at this track. And he, I think he said, hit 102.6 in, in practice on Friday, which is flying. Um, and Potter is going to be up there, I think. He's... He's, I believe, one on this track as well, mm -hmm. yes. and he's... He won last year, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's got this uh, new wing on his sled, which we haven't been able to get a, a real honest answer out of him it's yet. It's just a billboard. It's just, just a <laughs> billboard, but I don't know. We'll see if that uh, if that plays a role here with the flatter track. Yeah. I'm interested to see how that yeah, it's progresses. Yeah, some cool research and development that he's season. done there, you know, it kind of adds pressure on the, right yeah. in the middle of the corner, so yeah, be interesting to see on our big track now yep. compared to last weekend. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to right now. Okay, we got Matt's yeah. got everyone hot laps. We're setting up. Go, see you. Thanks, Bye, Matt. Matt. Sorry, Matt. Bye. Didn't know it was going that quick. Thanks, Ron. Go, run. <laughs> oh, Matt's gone. Uh, my three. I'm going to go with, um, I, I still like Jordan Wall. Um, Jordan Wall last year was off to a fantastic start. Mm -hmm. He was good in Ironwood. Yep. Um, he showed some good speed in Buffalo River, but I know he likes this track, um, and uh, I, I really like Jordan Wall. Man, I have a hard time picking them because there's so many. I, you they're know. all so fast, and it's so early in the season. Right, right. Um, I like Matt Gady as well, so I'm, I'm going to give Matt some, some love there on the 28, Artie Cat, and uh, I think we're going to go with Potter as well, but if I'm going to pick my dark horse, I'm going to throw Gunnar Stern in there right away. Mm -hmm. um, I think Gunner's little, I mean, he's really close to making the podium. I think once he gets mm -hmm. consistently on the podium, he's going to be one of those people that we're going to be talking about every week going, mm -hmm. Gunner's a pick. So, yep. your and dark that, horse? That's kind of how Gunner was last year, yep. too. I think he podiumed here, um, and he was on that podium quite a bit. Yep. Just looking real comfortable on that Mike Bull chassis. Uh, my dark horse, uh, not to be repetitive, but I'm sticking with who I said yesterday, Travis McDonald. He's... Uh, seems to come alive a little bit more on these longer tracks. So I think he's got a good shot, uh, you know, solid crew. If he can get a good hole shot, uh, he'll, you know, get out front. Sure. So he's my dark horse. All right, we're off for a great day of racing. Obviously, you can see how fast Matt left, that things are changing quickly here. We're going to have to get going, and uh, we'll go get some race coverage. Be sure to tune into to DitchBanger, uh, ditchbanger.tv if you're on a computer. Be sure you download the app to your uh, your iOS or your Android. When you do that, put your notifications on. They'll, they'll ping you real quick to be sure you know when the champ guys are running. I uh, want to be sure you're watching for coverage. We'd love to have your butt in the seat. Can I say that? Yeah. We'd love to have it. your butt in the seat. Ten bucks. Come out and spend the day. See these guys. They're accessible during the race day. They'll talk to you. They'll say hi to you. They'll sign a card for your kid. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do. So don't, don't miss it. Yep. And then how about our sponsors? We have great sponsors. We need to say huge thank you to everybody who lets the uh, TLR do what we do. Um, Woody's Traction Products, we've got AMSOIL, the official oil of the TLR Cup Tour, VP Fuels, which is the spec fuel, 
Uh, Brad Momgren Photography is responsible for so many of the great photos that you see all around. All, over. Yep. all around. Everyone shares them. They're great. Uh, Eagle River Dock and Lift, Don's Marine. Uh, we've got support from the manufacturers, Polaris, Skidoo, uh, Articat, and uh, MSPN, the uh, Midwest Sports Publishing Network, and Motor Fist. Keeping us warm out here. Keeping us warm. Yesterday we sure needed it. Yes, we did. Chilly day yesterday. But have a great day. We're having fun here in Ironwood. Uh, our next Facebook Live will be a week from Friday. We will be down at the Derby Track for Friday Night Thunder. Mm -hmm. That will be a TLR Cup Tour race. Uh, not quite sure in the times yet. We're going to see when most of the drivers are around, so we can talk to a couple of them again. Maybe we'll get more than one in that day. Uh, it's always a big event down there. So, uh, But join us here today at the track. If nothing else, we'll see you Facebook Live in about two weeks. Yep. Okay? All right. Thanks. Have a great day. See, see you at the you track. See you guys later.